Hi Stampers and welcome back to Stamp with Anna. Today we're making another card um, for our Beautiful You series. And the Beautiful You is the stamp set that's in the 2017 Occasions Catalog. It's a two um, package set and it has three lovely ladies and some wonderful uh, sentiments on it. So today we're going to use this a woman who just looks so happy and we're going to use this sentiment that says live with passion laugh out loud and love deeply and that sentiment actually um, helped me in designing this card because I, I thought I wanted something um, I didn't want something very clean lined I wanted something more whimsical to go with that she seems like a carefree woman and the sentiment kind of gives you, give it your all, go with it, have passion. So um, I decided to make this a white, a wash, a watercolor wash card. So um, it's really very simple. So let's get started. Um, what we need today is, like I said, the only ink we need is the basic black ink. The other colors that we have... Um, we're all using, we're getting from our reinkers. And they're all from the Settles collection. Now, Stampin' Up's colors all um, look, mostly all of them look beautiful together, but they have taken the guesswork out of a lot of, um, a lot of your preparation, and they've come up with these collections. So in the Settles collection, you have all subtle colors that work just beautifully together. And that's how I chose my colors here. Everything here comes from that collection. So I know for certain that these colors are going to look great together, and they do. So um, what we have is So Saffron, Pierre Pizzazz, Soft Sky, and Calypso Coral. And the way we're going to apply these re-inkers is we're going to just take each one of these let me just bring it down here so you can see it a little better and we're going to make a little puddle maybe two dots of each color and I'm going to go light to dark so that I remember which color is where and in this case I think the blue is lighter than the green And to apply these colors, we're just going to use um, an aqua pen. So um, let's get started. Our paper is uh, soft sky, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Calypso coral, four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And our card front whisper white, four by five and a quarter. Um, what else I did was, I've already done it here, with the 1 and 3 eighths inch circle punch, I took a piece of white uh, scrap paper and I punched out a circle and that's going to make the um, stencil for my sun. And as you can see, even though it's a perfect round circle, it's not perfect in shape because it's water colored with a lot of water and we want it to look not perfect. Um, and then I also made a mask of the girl. And I usually make my masks with um, post-it notes. But I want, because I was using so much water, I wanted to make sure that my mask was going to hold up to my brushing. So I um, stamped her on a piece of Whisper White so I knew it was nice and sturdy. And then I fussy cut her out and I put a little bit, I'm going to put a little more, uh, a little bit of repositionable tape so that when I lift her off my project, she won't um, ruin my project. So, first thing we're going to do is stamp this very happy lady in black archival ink. And I'm going to put her right about here. So, there we go. Straight down. Straight up. And we're done with that. Now I'm going to place my mask right over her. And again, because it is a very loose, free watercolor, we don't need to be um, too particular with it. 
the next thing I'm going to do is position my sun where I want it. And I want it kind as close to the top as I can get it. Okay, and I'm going to turn it this way so that I have something that a thicker part to hold on to. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I have my aqua paint, or my aqua pen here, and a towel. You can use a paper towel or a towel, whatever you have. And I'm going to press my aqua pen so that water comes out of it. Okay, now that I have water on it, I don't want it to be too wet, but I don't want it to be dry. I'm going to pick up my So Saffron. And I'm going to just rub it here so that I know what my color is going to be. Okay, and I want it to be a little light. So, I'm going to start from the outside and just pull in and color it all in. Now, if I feel like I made it too light, I'll just pick up some more. And there we go. Our sun is done. I'm going to carefully lift that up. And as you can see, it's not a perfect circle, and we don't want a perfect circle. I'm going to squeeze some water through that and wipe my brush, make sure it's clean. Now I'm going to do the sky. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to push until I get some water on my tip, and then I'm going to go with my soft sky. And I'm just going to lightly go around this young lady and I do want that to be a tad bit lighter well, I would have liked the top of that to be just a little lighter but you can't try to lighten it too much because then you'll get your paper too wet and it will pill. Okay, again, I'm going to dry off my water and then I'm going to come in and get some green. And again, just very freely come in and color. And there really is no rhyme or reason. You can make it as dark or as light as you want. And as you can see, this one is light. But because my sky came out so dark, I thought that my grass should probably have the same intensity to it. I'm going to just come along here and come down to the end. I'm going to clean that off. Now I see a little bit of blue there that I want to go back and put some more blue there. So I'm going to pick up the last of the blue that I have and go there. Okay. And again, I'm going to wipe off my aqua painter and I'm going to come back in and pick up my calypso. Oh, I have to take my mask off. And take the mask off the girl and I'm going to color her dress and her hat. And for that I'm using calypso coral. And that's the wrong one. Come in here, squirt a little water, and pick that up. And I'm going to color in her hat. Pick up a little more, make her dress a little darker so it matches her hat. And there we go. Now, I'm going to move that out of the way so that I don't get it all over the place. Um, when you watercolor on paper, your, the paper has a tendency to curl and bend, and that's natural. So if you just take your heat tool and run it over your paper, not only will you quickly dry your, your project, but the paper will flatten itself out. that feels nice and dry. Now I'm going to come back in with my black ink again. And down in this corner.
corner here, I'm going to stamp my sentiment. Straight down, straight up. And now I'm going to attach it to my Calypso Coral. And there's a very thin border here. Oh, it's a little off there. Let me just peel that up. And I reposition that. Hmm. It's a little difficult when the paper is a little warped from the water. But I find standing up to layer gives me the best result. Okay, and now we're going to attach a little bit of ribbon. Oh, where did I put my ribbon? Here it is. And I'm using the Calypso Coral um, Everyday Enchantment Organdy. This was part of a, um, a three-pack of some special at some point. I don't remember when. But like I said in my previous videos, um, I have a lot of retired... Um, ribbons because I like to have different types of the same color so I'll have Calypso Coral in this organdy and I'll have it in the chevron pattern and I'll have it in the seam binding and I'll have it in the stitch cross grain. Uh, and Stampin' Up's ribbons don't stick around that long. They'll You'll notice that every year when a catalog comes out there's a new um, I want to say type of, of ribbon and there are select colors for that. So I get it whenever it's out there because I don't know how long it's going to be around. So um, that's why my ribbons are usually um, retired. And it's unfortunate. But, um, and if you didn't have this organdy or um, ribbon, you could certainly use a seam binding. You could certainly use a cotton ribbon. You can use anything you want. Or you could do it without ribbon. Um, I'm just going to tie a quick knot here. I'm working today. Straighten that up and then I'm just going to trip my tails. That just gives it a little bit of sheen. Now I'm going to run my snail. Make sure that I have it straight and I'm going to attach it to my card base, which is Soft Sky. And there we have it. I just think it's such a fun card. I love the, um, the just wash <laughs> of, of the inks. Here you go. This one is a little lighter. This one has lightened up a bit since, um, since it's dried. But it's it's a great card. I I like the way the coloring is not in the lines. It's not um, neat and orderly. It's just whimsical, and I think it goes very well with that um, with that sentiment. This is a great stamp set, and it is available in the occasions catalog until um, May thirty first. So I suggest that you, uh, if you like it as much as I do, you scoop it up. Uh, we haven't gotten the carryover list yet, so I don't know if it's going to carry over into the annual catalog, but that's not a chance I'm willing to take. That's why I ordered mine. So um, if you have any questions at all, certainly contact me through my blog, www.stampwithanna.blogspot.com, and um, I'd love to hear any feedback from your comments, positive or negative. I'd love to hear what you think. Um, have a great day, and I'll see you back here tomorrow.